YouTube. It is JGO NASCAR. This is part two of a two part diecast review special celebrating both my 800th subscriber special and 300,000th view milestone. And I just want to say you got say thank you all, like I said in the last video, for getting me to not just 800 subscribers, but 300,000 views. I never thought that five, that five years I'd actually like have that many views. So, and to celebrate that, I'm going to be doing a diecast review on a pretty nice car from last year, and it's going to be on Kevin Harvick's 2014 Mobile One Chevy for Stuart Haas Racing. This is a really cool car I got a while ago, and this was the car that Harvick ran for a one race deal with Mobile One at Pocono, the race where Dale Jr. won. I'm actually hoping to maybe go back to, to Pocono in, uh, over the summer to maybe hopefully see Harvick get a win or maybe if Junior can pull off another Pocono sweep. But this car is like, it's one of those unique schemes that I would, that it's like if you buy, if you find it, you, you should get it. And let's go over the box. Kevin Harvick, Stuart Haas Racing, limited edition adult collectible, 360 review. Kevin Harvick, 2014 SS, Mobile One, limited edition, the code. Action Gold Series, still the choice of champions since 2010. It's been called Action Gold Series. Barcode, uh, NASCAR hologram. And while I open this up, please, en please enjoy the following video. What's an alliance? Uh, the last big word I learned like that was mayonnaise. I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. It's hard to figure it all out, isn't it? Everything is good. Mayonnaise, you put that stuff on everything. And here's the car. One thing I did not realize that when I bought this car is that it came on a plaque, as you can see by here. So this means it's definitely one of those adult collectibles as by the uh, the box here. And uh, on underneath the, the mount, it has this little piece of paper that you probably won't read, but it says, this product is mounted to a base using a specialized screw as required by the licensor and other regulatory services. I'm actually surprised why they would mount this kind of car. I mean... Yeah, I mean, may, I mean, maybe it's because of this, but because it has an alcohol sponsor on the top of it. But I mean, it's just like it's not the entire car. Maybe if it was like the Budweiser car, or maybe if like Clint Boyer's Five Hour Energy car, like it could be mounted on here. But I mean, like if if they're really, if they're just putting this this base on just for this one little sponsor on top of the hood, I personally don't understand that at all. But uh, I don't work for Lionel, so I don't make the decisions. But what I can make a decision on is how amazing this car looks. I mean, I love those unique schemes, and it was really interesting to see that Harvick team up with one of Tony's primary sponsors for a one-race deal. And uh, main colors of this beautiful car are white, black, and a little blue, and, and of course red for, uh, for Kevin Harvick with his main sponsor, Budweiser. It feels weird now seeing Kevin Harvick in, like an, in a mostly white, scheme now or at least since was a, this was just for a one race deal it would feel weird to to look at it and look at Kevin Harvick on the track and just see it he's driving a mostly white car instead of a mostly red car but uh the main sponsor on this car is Mobile One Chevy SS and uh, I I probably got I forget how much I got this for I believe I got this for Christmas or my or I forget where I got this actually, but uh, the main sponsor is Mobile One, Sprint Cup Series, 3M, Mobile One, K&N, 4, Budweiser, Mobile One, Jimmy John's, Haas Automation, Mac Tools, Bass Pro Shops, other little sponsors, Kevin Harvick with the very, with the barely noticeable Twitter, Facebook, Instagram logos, Mobile One, SS, Mobile One, Mobile One, Four, Budweiser, Jimmy John's, Sprint Cup Series, K and N, Kevin Arvick on the on the top, on the top, the roof, Bud with uh, Budweiser as a sponsor, number four, K and Three M, just main sponsors on this on the right side of the car is the left side with of course the with the Goodyear tires and the Sunoco Racing fuel. So the design of this car is just mostly it's. Of course, mostly just a white scheme with uh, mo with with black on the bottom, a little bit of, with a red stripe that outlines the black that is that goes around the bottom of the car. 
um, except for the back, where you can see the exhaust decals, Chevy SS Mobile One official motor oil of NASCAR, Sprint Cup Series, and of course the the usual number, Kevin Harvick number four, Stuart Haas style. Although it feels weird because now because in this this car it's a mostly it's a red four. Usually it's a white four. But what? And of course with the uh, Budweiser logo right right next to it. The uh, the black the black on the car is just mostly like on the front like the splitter is black, and the uh, just mostly the the front the grill's black. Like everything on the front of this car is black. The hood is mostly is mostly white though, with the uh, with the Mobile One logo in front of it. the uh, The sides of the car are noticeably black, of course, that which extends from the uh, the front of the car, all the way to right behind the num the number four decal, and just the entire bottom, like ba very bottom of the car, is black. Outlined in uh, outlined in a very dimish red. And uh, of course, like unusually on this on Kevin Harvick cars, you've got a a red four outlined in white and black. You've got a red four outlined in white and black, and on the top of the hood, you've got a white a red four outlined in white and black. If I had to give this car a rating, I'd definitely give it a ten out of ten. Definitely a great car to have for your collection, and I would highly recommend you get it ASAP. So that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Tune in for more videos in the future. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.